I would like to announce my retirement from international cricket with effect from 1 April 2015. I made the team management aware of my decision on day two of this current test match and I thank them for respecting it. We jointly agreed that the best time to announce this would be after the test match to ensure that we as a team are fully focused on winning the test and the series. I feel that at 34 it is time to retire from international cricket and to move on with my career. I intend on playing county and franchise domestic cricket for the next couple of years and also concentrating on my foundation and cricket school. It has been an honour to represent my country and to be part of the South African Test team that is ranked number one in the world. I want to thank Cricket South Africa, my teammates, sponsors and cricket fans for all the support and memories over the years. But above all, I want to thank my family for what they have sacrificed in order for me to live my dream. I will miss the Proteus, amazing team culture that we have built, international cricket and especially the Proteus family. I want to wish South African cricket and the Proteus all the best for the future, particularly the 2015 Cricket World Cup. Thank you. My happiest day was probably when I walked um, when I walked onto the field at Eden Gardens, representing my country, making my debut. Um, that was probably one of the happiest, but you know, every single day of test cricket and even practices with, with this team has been, has been right up there as well. It was, it was one of the more satisfying hundreds I've scored um, because, you know, yes, I was under pressure um, to score runs and the team also needed me to, to get some runs because I think we were five down overnight um, for 200 and odd on the board. So I knew I had to pull through and, and bat bat harder to, to try and get us to, let's say, 400, which we managed to get. So it was one of the more satisfying hundreds. It, it, it was frustrating the last um, couple of months, you know, because I feel that I'm playing good cricket and then it just doesn't relate to, to the runs that I'm getting. So I would have liked to have scored more, um, especially getting starts and going on, because I pride myself on, on getting starts and scoring big hundreds. Um, Unfortunately, unfortunately, it didn't happen. Um, so a little bit disappointed. It's uh, it's something I didn't tell anyone, but I can't even remember the last couple of overs last night. Um, I, I think I was thinking about other stuff. Um, and you know, when I walked off the field, realizing that I was out was probably the first time I I started thinking. So um, if I could if I could do it all over again, I'd probably do things differently. It's something that um, I started thinking about certainly in the last six, even eight months. So um, waking up um, that morning and informing team management, uh, I realized that that's it. You know, um, I need to move on with my career. Um, there's some wonderful players in this team, some good young players coming through as well. And um, I, think it, I think it's the right time. I think it will be naive for me to, to, to answer that question. Um, you know, that, like I said, there's a lot of young, good cricketers, um, and, and I'm sure that the selectors and team management will make the right decision in selecting that person. South Africa's got a great leadership group. Um, you know, our current group, group is fantastic. So, you know, there's no issues there. There never was. Um, and players move on, but the game will always remain. Um, so, you know what? Uh, players retiring, there will always be someone else filling that spot um, and I think South Africa is in good hands. I think uh, firstly the, the team culture that exists in the team um, has always been fantastic and to see the guys come out and in support of me is, is, is fantastic and, and that's something that I will obviously cherish and hold with me for the, for the rest of my career. Performances, um, just by the way, you know, if I, if I in any way have contributed to the team, um, that will stand out. But ultimately, it's the players at the back of this room that will stick with me for forever.